to the physics classroom. Uh, today we are talking about the thrust force. Uh, let's see what the thrust force is. A thrust force, as, it's, as we are telling, is a kind of the force. A thrust is a force and it is a vector quantity because it has both size or magnitude and also direction. It is measured in newtons, shown by the symbol N or capital N. So the unit of the cross force is newtons. How does it work? Actually, it is made on the engines. So any kind of the aircraft, anything that is worked by engine that's moving through the air, it is uh, has a thrust force that is pushing it through the air and causing it to move forward and through the air. So it is made by the engines of the aircraft. What do the engines do? They are reworked by the propulsion system, as you can see in the diagram. They send the air from the front of the engine and send it into the this tube, which is a pro, is a propeller here, and it is swinging to the ground and pushes or forces the air to the back of or the rear of the engine and causing the uh, airplane to move forward. So, um, made by the engines of the aircraft through the propulsion system and causing it or the aircraft to move through the air, it moves it forward, is to overcome the actually the weight and the drag forces of the object which is moving into the air. Uh, engines work on the gas. So let's see what the engine do. It works on the gas or the air here and then accelerates it. It accelerates the gas or the air to the rear of the engine. Engine pushes back air with the same force the air pushes or moves the plane forward into the air. So the amount of the force here, the amount of the force, the engine pushes the air and applies on the air to send it to the back of the engine should be the same as the force that the air actually applies on the air, aircraft to move it forward to steer through the air. And these all things, I mean the thrust force is to overcome the, uh, the drag of the aircraft and also the weight of it. And this, uh, it has an engine here and this works on the gas, sets the gas to the rear of it. I mean, the, and this force is, should be equal to amount of the force that the air is applying on the aircraft to push it forward. So there are two forces here and one force which is thrust and this is in this direction, cause it, it is opposite direction to the drag and the weight forces and causes the aircraft to move forward. Now let's see, uh, for those ones that they want to know um, how to calculate the thrust force, uh, amount of the thrust force, I want you to come with me to the next part. Now, let's see how we can calculate or which formula we can use to calculate thrust. Thrust, uh, here, that you can see the formula, is the amount needed to accelerate 1 kg of mass um, at the rate of 1 meter per second. So, T equals to V times changes in mass over changes in the time. Here, we're here, T is referring, referring to the thrust generated, which is measured in newtons. V means the exhaust or um, exit gas velocity, and the unit should be meter per second. Time, measured in second, delta M or Changes in M means the rate of change of mass. Now I hope you have understood very well this section, which is about the trust. And in the next part, I want to talk about 
upthrust force. Now, let's know what the upthrust force is. Upthrust or buoyancy um, is a force that causes the immense objects or the objects that are uh, uh, afloat or immersed into the water or air liquid to seem to lose weight and, uh, and make them to afloat or um, float on the water. So it is a force so it is measured in Newton's like the other forces and it pushes objects up on the top of the water, the objects that are immersed or put into the water uh, and make them to seem lighter. As you can see here in my, the fish that I have drawn here, there are four forces on this fish which is inside the water. The one of them is the gravity or the weight force and the other one which is in the opposite direction is the upthrust. The upthrust force pushes the fish up, doesn't let it to sink and make it to appear lighter. The other one is a thrust force as we have talked about it before and uh, they don't have any engineer but that uh, muscles of the fish that try to move the tail and the tail uh, actually pushes the water uh, to the rear of the fish, the back and this water also is like a reaction and a reaction pushes the fish forward into the water with the same amount of the force. So thrust we have, and in the opposite direction of the thrust force, we have friction force. Friction force doesn't let the fish to uh, move on its own line, on a straight line, into the little water easily. So it is uh, opposing the motion of the fish. Um, but the fishes, they can change their buoyancy um, by changing their own density because they have uh, air bladder so they uh, they can uh, accumulate the air inside their body inside that bladder and make themselves lighter to come up higher you know stand in a higher level in the water or they can uh, remove some part of that, water, uh, that air from their bladder to uh, appear heavy and make them, themselves denser so to uh, they can so that they can sink into the water into the deeper part of the water. Now, so an examples of the upthrust that you can see is that uh, it keeps the ships afloat, uh, the ships that are in the water how they actually they can afloat or how they can be always moving on the surface of the water how come they do not sink is because the first called as upthrust that pushes the ships up. The swimmers on top of the water also they experience these thrust first. Um, so in this um, example the diagram you can see we have an object here, a mass, a body is into the, uh, fl actually uh, floating into the water and there are two forces in the opposite direction one is the weight force and the other one is upthrust upthrust doesn't let it to sink huh? so the upthrust here and the weight they are both acting on the object but in the opposite direction upthrust force is made by uh, a fluid a force which is exacted by a fluid opposing to the weight of the object which is in the different direction or opposite direction to the uh, direction of the weight or gravity of the object. Upward force, so it is an upward force, the direction it is upwards because it is pushing the objects up to the surface. So, and caused by pressure difference between top and bottom of the object. Here, there are two pressures. The pressure in here, in the top of the object, and the bottom of the object, which is placed into the water, into the liquid, are different. This difference in the uh, pressures give that thrust for up thrust force and causes the objects to afloat. To, uh, call to create buoyancy. So the buoyancy is resulted by a difference in the pressure 
uh, of the uh, top and the bottom of the objects that are immersed into the water. Now, based on the Archimedes principle, as we know, Archimedes says that the upthrust force on the object equals to the weight of the fluid which is displaced. So, Archimedes says that the upthrust force of the objects it is equal to the weight of the displaced fluid. If I want to write an equation for that, I can write upthrust equals to the volume of the object which is immersed into the liquid times fluid density. 